This episode of Never Too Small is sponsored by BetterHelp. I think multifunctional furniture is very important for small living. You have to accommodate so many functions in such small spaces that it enriches the concept of the design that you are trying to achieve. My name is Carol Borton. I'm an architect uh, specialized in museography and scenery. The apartment is located in Palermo neighborhood in Buenos Aires City. It's a very lively and elegant neighborhood. The building is from the 1940s. It was always meant to be a residential building. The picturesque architecture of this building reflects in the lobby, the stairs and the apartments. The apartment is uh, 54 square meters. The ground floor is 27 square meters and the mezzanine is 17 square meters. Even though the main use of this building is residential, this unit had been an office for the last 10 years when we first came. The unit was compartmented in three offices in the ground floor and it was really small and dark. In the mezzanine there was a bigger office with a kitchenette and a bathroom. The client's brief was to build a spacious, luminous and elegant apartment. We removed the kitchen from the mezzanine to the ground floor. We put the toilet and the kitchen and the main stair in one side of the apartment. In the mezzanine, we put the main bedroom and the bathroom. The client decided not to put a laundry space in the apartment because the neighborhood is full of laundromats. The big window is the only light entrance the apartment has. Our design concept was to make a fluid and open space, so as when you walk into the apartment, you are directly drawn into the big window. The kitchen is one unit with a staircase. It's minimal, but full equipped with electrical stove and oven. To make this little kitchen a little bit more spacious, all the cabinets are designed in the lower part of the kitchen. And we also built a floating shelf. Under the stairs is part pantry and part storage, and we also fit a fridge in there. The kitchen table was custom made for this apartment by Taller Numeros Primos. We wanted to create a flow from the entrance to the living room area, so we decided to put smooth edges furniture in the kitchen so as to achieve that. We also included a small toilet next to the kitchen for the guests. For the living room, our idea was to design a very flexible space The only design in the living room was the multifunctional staircase. The stair was built in one piece of folded metal. It has a structural beam under. The main bedroom is in the mezzanine. We decided to change the glass balustrade for a metal one in order to create a little privacy from the street. Due to the structure of the building and some odd angles behind the bed, we had some space left where we decided to put the wardrobe. The division of the bathroom and the main bedroom is made out of three panels of fantasy glass to create some privacy, but we wanted the natural light to come into the bathroom. 
We cover the bathroom from floor to top in terrazzo, so you can have the feeling when you're inside of a wider space. We decided to use floating sink in order to get some more space in the floor in the bathroom. Most of the furniture pieces are multifunctional pieces and they were all custom made from Estudio T, such as the chair in the main bedroom that can be used as a cloth hanger. There's also a bookshelf that it's used as a shoe storage and also to accommodate some books and magazines. My philosophy when it comes to small spaces, it's a combination of my awareness of demography and the need of cutting down consumption. The less materials you use, I think the better the space responds to the user. I use a lot of calm design. What I really want to achieve is comfort. As life in city uh, is becoming more expensive and denser, I think the refurbishment and restoration of apartments is very important. Community really feels uh, alienated when uh, politicians decide to tear all down and start all over again like a tabula rasa. We have to try to make these small apartments comfortable, healthy and accessible for all people to come to the city. Mixed use in residential areas is very important. Also, mixed class. It makes communities richer and more sociable. And of course, the result is a, a more livable city or neighborhood. This episode of Never Too Small is sponsored by BetterHelp. How are you going? Yep, it's been a tough year. Don't get us wrong. This stuff is small in the context of what many of you have lived through. But when the pandemic first hit, it wasn't clear how we'd be able to continue making Never Too Small. We needed help too. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus counsellor network and the service is available for clients worldwide. You can start communicating within 48 hours. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's more affordable than traditional offline counselling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash never too small. That's better H-E-L-P. And join the more than 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. As a special offer for never too small viewers, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash never too small. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.